Well, that was a very good half of a football game. Crossy Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. <sighs> Why can't we just play a full game of Grassi? And today we will be talking about the Green Bay Packers defeating the Carolina Panthers 24 to 16, which was the same score as the 2019 game. But, you know. Less bad, because the world didn't suck as much. Before I get to that, I want to do a big shout and thank you to brand new YouTube members. We have Andrew Fingeret and we have Robert Filareal. A big shout out and thank you to you both for the support. All right, so let's get down to this. So the Green Bay Packers in the first half were uh, rocking and rolling. Uh, 21 to 3 heading into halftime. And they were to get the ball after half. And I was like, oh man. This is going to just be a runaway game for the Green Bay Packers. And yet in the second half, we only scored a total of three points, similar to the Colts game in which we were dominating in the first half and then did diddly squat in the second half. And taking a look at some of the stats from this game, Rodgers 20 for 29, 143 yards, one touchdown and one rushing TD. So didn't light the world on fire, but the vast majority of these accolades were done in the first half. Aaron Jones, however, had a fantastic game. 20 carries for 145 yards and a touchdown. Lazard, 5 for 56. And Adams, 7 for 42. Unfortunately, Devontae Adams was not able to get a touchdown. So unfortunately, his streak will end with eight consecutive games with a touchdown. He did beat Don Hudson's record, so it was a franchise record. But unfortunately, the buck stops there. And on defense, honestly, my player of the game is going to be Adrian Amos, who was phenomenal. Had three passes defended, including a sack. The defense as a whole had three sacks. You also had a forced fumble in which King recovered on an amazing goal line stand in which Chris Barnes was able to literally just soccer spike it as Teddy Bridgewater tried to reach the ball across the goal line. Phenomenal play. And for the most part, besides some terrible coverage, you had the defense do pretty damn well this evening. However, for the offense, as we already talked about, they were incredibly stagnant coming out of the locker room. They could not get a single thing going, and they allowed the Carolina Panthers to get back into the game. Now, to be said, the Carolina Panthers are no pushovers. Obviously, they didn't have Christian McCaffrey, but you had teams that have struggled against them, including the Chiefs, who were barely able to sneak away a win against the Panthers. So, I'm not looking into this too much, but Aaron Rodgers in his press conference flat out said like he wasn't happy with this win. It was a stinker. And while Matt LaFleur is like, we're never going to apologize for a W as they shouldn't because they got it done. This is not a performance that you want to repeat in the playoffs because you're going to have much better teams who are going to be able to take advantage of your lackadaisical activity in the second half. The offensive line also allowed five sacks today, which is not really great considering that coming into this, they only allowed 14 sacks all year. Obviously, Corey Lindsley is on IR, but for the most part, this was a rough night for the offensive line and Aaron got hit way too much. Over on the Panthers side of the ball, you had Teddy Bridgewater go 21 for 35 for 258 yards and a rushing TD. We held Mike Davis to 14 carries and 59 yards. DJ Moore had a nice night, six for 131. And I think what it comes down to is honestly, this just was not a complete football game at all. And while you can look at the positives and that, listen, we are still 11-3. and three. We are still in control of our own destiny. There's only two games left. If we win against the Titans and the Bears, boom, we have the number one seed. There is very little room for error. Obviously, the Saints could lose tomorrow to the Chiefs, which is great, but you also have to keep an eye on the Seahawks. But the Titans and the Bears are next on the list, and if we're able to take them both down, then we will be having that first round bye, and the road to the Super Bowl will run through Lambeau. So it definitely isn't all doom and gloom. I think you look at this game and go, yeah, the Packers still need to improve as a football team. Their first half was absolutely incredible, and I feel like this has happened multiple times throughout the season where they have played a great first half, and then they just didn't really show up in the second half. I alluded to the Colts game earlier. But last week against the Lions, we scored in every single quarter, and that was fantastic. Rodgers came out in his press conference and basically said, like, oh, I hate this whole narrative. Like, oh, we took our foot off the gas and we were just, like, kind of going through our motions. The defense for the Panthers played better in the second half, and we just did not recover. I feel like we also got away from the run game, which was problematic because Aaron Jones was having an amazing day in the first half. You had Jamal Williams also go out on injury, which definitely affected the run game. 
But at the end of the day, it is a W, control of our own destiny, and we just have to get to the dance. Once we get to the dance, anything can happen. And right now, I'm still confident in this football team. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. How do you feel about this performance by the Green Bay Packers? The next time we'll see the Packers is Sunday night football against the Tennessee Titans, which should be a fantastic game. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can always find me at TomGrassyComedy.com or at TomGrassyComedy. All social media is see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and, of course, YouTube. And a big shout-out and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrassyComedy and the YouTube members. We'll be streaming the Chiefs and Saints tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, so stay tuned. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi. And as always, Go Pack Go! Oh, 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 o